Good morning from the immigration office of Koh Samui, Thailand. We finally made it here from Khao Sok. It was the longest travel day ever. I don't necessarily recommend it, but we have made it to the southeast coast of Thailand, supposedly the place where you're getting the best weather in July and August. This is somewhat a peak season for Samui. And uh, it's raining a lot. We've just extended our Thai visa. It was 1,900 baht each, and it took about an hour, which wasn't too bad. Our plan today, being our first day, was to jump straight on this bike that we've rented for 300 baht for the day and explore some spots of the island. It's actually quite a big island, the second biggest island in Thailand, 300,000 people. I don't know if we're gonna be able to explore, but we're gonna do our best. 4,000 baht down, it's raining. Our bike is nice and wet, this is gonna be fun. This is when I second guess the decision to extend the visa and uh, rent a bike. This is peak <laughs> season in the only oh. island where there won't be rain, I'm a little bit worried. We'll keep our fingers crossed, but it doesn't look promising. Good morning from Koh Samui, Thailand. We were completely rained off yesterday, so we are giving it a go again today at exploring as much as possible of the island. I don't think we're gonna to get too much in. The weather still doesn't look great, um, but we've headed down to our first stop, and that is Silver Beach. It's a little bit of a hidden beach between Chaweng and Lamai, which are the two busiest resort towns on the island. We've just walked through, I think it's Crystal Bay, Crystal Cove, beach club and wow this is lovely we are the only ones pretty much the only ones on this beach and i feel like today is going to be a day of seeing what we can do we've had to scrap a few of the things the island's huge there's so much to do um and we found that a lot of the things we're going to do today include strange or uniquely shaped rocks i honestly can't believe this this is not what i was expecting on a beach like i feel like this is a uh, seychelles it does look um, very very seychelles -esque. Does, doesn't it seychelles -esque, all these like mini rocks you've got this huge rock here like huge boulder and on the other boulder. side i think this is the down here you can swim and this is sort of like for like rock, rock climbing pool, rock climbing i'm not doing any rock climbing though is a big boulder. Look at this, you've got the view all the way over the bay. I have no clue how these rocks were formed, but they're the most unique colors ever. They're like gray, brown, even a little bit of green coming through, and then they go all the way. This is unbelievable, right? It goes like up into the mountain or into the hill. It comes, yeah, it comes all the way down off the mountains. So um, cool. I want to get over there and swim though. Not my smartest of ideas, but there is a tiny little beach if you hike across these, hold on, these big boulders. I can't remember which way I came now. Um, but lovely, so unique and relatively quiet compared to the rest of the beaches in Samui, which I can't believe. I don't know how I'm gonna make this last jump though. And Molly's ran off to go swimming. We travel all the time and we are always using Skyscanner when booking our flights. There's lots of reasons why we love using Skyscanner, but the main reason, the one that I think is the best and why we always, always resort back to using it is the traffic light system. If we're looking for a specific destination, but we are slightly flexible with our dates, Skyscanner can show you all of the dates in different colors. So you can choose the whole month and what will happen is Skyscanner will show you red, green, or amber. Now definitely don't look at the red if you can help it. Try and always look for the green because that will be the cheapest date in that specific month to the specific country that you're looking to go to. Our second tip and another reason why we do love Skyscanner, obviously, is to use the Explore Everywhere button. You may not even have heard of this, but this is almost like a lucky dip in terms of countries. So you just press Explore Everywhere and a bunch of countries pop up for you to choose from. It's great if you are flexible or even if you're willing to explore somewhere new as it means you can pick the cheapest destination for your dates. We're sure you may not have noticed or known about these 
tips on Skyscanner. Like, if you have, then you're a pro. Um, but we do hope that these tips and tricks will help you when booking your next trip. We know that it helps us, and as I said, you know, we're always looking for the green traffic light, and we are keen on exploring everywhere, of course. Um, so thank you, Skyscanner, and let's get back to Thailand. What a great beach. I can't tell whether that end or this end is nicer. This end doesn't seem to have any palm trees, but you can swim in it. And the rocks are like much closer and sort of together in the sea, but it is honestly I've so beautiful. I've never seen rock formations coming down into a beach, into the sea like this before. There's like little caves as well. Like how cute is that? It's relatively quiet here. Um, obviously a lot quieter than Chaweng, the busiest beach, but like quieter than like why? Why is it quieter There's only like 10 here? to 15 people here. I don't understand why. It's in yeah. between the two busiest beaches on the island and it's so Yeah, it is the, I, I'm going to hands down say it, is this the best beach in Koh Samui? We haven't seen many. Probably. We haven't seen many. No, but I'm saying it is. A road that, that leads, leads to, to the, the beach. beach. Thank you. Thank you so much. Captain Girl. We found the beach. We found all of the people at the beach as well. The town is definitely one of them towns that comes alive at night. And I think, I hope, the parking is free. We literally jumped into the first place on this beach. I think it's called Hive, and that is a beautiful amazing looking iced cappuccino 80 baht which is very reasonable being on a very touristy beach like i said we have definitely found the people but the roads on Koh Samui are just incredible you're going around all these amazingly unique shaped rocks it is a beautiful beautiful drive but so much for peak season this weather is it's not great this is definitely the sort of beach that I would like to chill out on. Now that I'm full of my strawberry soda. Um, it's lovely, it's huge. It's, it is I, a I didn't realize huge it was such a huge stretch, stretch of beach. Huge, huge stretch of beach. Lovely, like, kind of creamy sand. The sea's not too rough. You've got like a border bit off where you can go and swim. Bars, um, restaurants, it's very tourist vibe, but very nice at the same time I'd say like you, you could chill out get your jet ski yeah well I don't want to get a jet ski I do just want to chill out have a nice strawberry soda <laughs> strawberry sodas are the best you do definitely take places for granted while you're in Thailand you really realize that they are the kings of tourism in Southeast Asia maybe Asia as a whole I know this is along with Phuket the second or maybe the first most popular island in terms of tourists but they just do it so well it's not huge great hotel blocks it's done very subtly very nice beautifully lined with palm trees a great beach to just chill out on for the day but we do have a lot more rocks to see some very unique rocks in fact uh, some strange rocks actually Cup and cuff, thank you. Okay. Two minutes down the road, the strangest, weirdest tourist attraction ever. The one that you were most excited for. <laughs> or it could be the one that you were most excited for. This be. is um this is the most people that we've actually seen somewhere, which is a bit I worrying. Think, yeah, I think it shows everyone's uh mental age, but this is Hin Tai and Hin Yai, Grandma and Grandfather's Rock. The story basically goes that they uh, were searching for a wife for their son, didn't make it, had to go on a boat journey, and the story is quite long-winded, um, but for some reason these rocks are very significant. I don't know if you can see behind me. Seems to be a running theme with certain rocks that they we see. They resemble a certain hmm. type of genitalia, but I can't find Grandma. <laughs> 
I mean, it's a. Uh, it definitely resembles something. I feel weird looking at it. It's basically a two-minute drive from Lamaya Beach, and it's a. Uh, it's kind of funny. You see, you see all the tour buses turn up, and everyone gets out, takes a quick photo with the um, appropriate shaped rocks, and gets back. <laughs> into their minivan. It's crazy that they've built a whole tourist area with clothing, shops, bars, restaurants, all so people can take a photo of some rocks that resemble genitalia. I mean, it's it's a very fun five minute stop in Samui. Definitely one of the stranger tourist attractions we've ever been on, um, but Samui actually is not just beaches. There are big mountains, of course, but we are heading up right now. We are actually heading up the mountain to see another rock. Whoa! Yeah. I nearly got taken out by a tree. Um, we're heading up to see another rock, but I think this one's going to be... A rock in the mountains. A rock in the mountains and pretty spectacular. Whoa. We are going up a super steep road. These roads are amazing though. Wow. Yeah, who, but it's really steep. Who knew Samui had mountains? Oh, we're getting steep up. Oh my God. Thank you. You're fine, yeah? I know. Yeah. Cap and car. This road is uh, not for the faint-hearted. That is so, so steep. We've paid for parking, I think it was 20 baht at the, I don't know if it's the first or second car park that you see, and we're gonna hike the rest of the way because you can see that is crazy. It is so, so steep, but I think we have almost made it to the overlap rock. Not only was the road sketchy, so is this bridge. Did you see that? It turns out that was a... <laughs> a different viewpoint that we've paid to park at. And supposedly we got to walk the rest of the way, but I think you could probably take your bike. Um, it's pretty steep. Private property that everyone seems to be going in. Wow, I don't know what's going on there. That's a bit scary, isn't it? Thank, Thank you, you. Captain Car. Wow. Oh my God, doesn't this look amazing? So this is the overlap stone. We found it and I have no facts on it for you. All 50 I can baht tell, each, it's private property. 50 baht each, private property. All I can say is that that is um, not man-made. That is as it is. It looks like it's gonna fall if you just walk down there and push it. I'm not so sure on this concrete made bridge, but wow, we have made it right to the top or at one of the peaks here in Samui Molly. It looks like it's gonna just, hold no, on. No, don't push it. Let me get round you. Wow, look. That is pretty scary. At them views, and this is just perched. It's not falling on the edge of a cliff. Someone's house there. They've done well there, it's their house, so they can just charge. This is their back garden. Oh, They're charging wow. you 50 baht to go in their back garden where they luckily have this crazy stone. Highlight of the day, for sure. Look at it, the craziest thing ever. And this bridge is so, so wobbly, but the clouds are getting bad and I don't fancy going down these steep Samui mountains in a rainstorm, but wow. Add it to your Samui itinerary. It's like, I've never seen anything like that before. Bye bye. <laughs> the nicest little family ever. You wouldn't know it was open. There's a closed sign at the front, and at their main gate, it says private property, no trespassing, with a huge barbed wire fence, which is kind of why there hasn't been too many people up here. There was a few Thai tourists and only a couple of other Westerners that we saw. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We need to get down, Molly. We need to get down. <laughs> These clouds. If we don't make it, we're here for the night. We are sleeping on the rock. As you can see, the car park is full, but the motorbikes, only a few idiots. Wow, this is amazing. Cheers. Cheers. I made it down that hill just, and then decided to go back up another steep hill. In fact, an incredibly steep hill. This is Jungle Club, probably the most recommended place in all of Samui for food and drinks. And I can see why the views over Chiaweng Beach, in fact, most of Samui, you can even see Kopanyang in the distance are on 
unbelievable. The little view deck that you walk out on, the bean bags, the Chang. We also have, well, I also have the coolest food ever coming. I've got deep fried prawns, Thai style, but in Singa beer batter. So I'm going all out Thai with them. And if you're coming up here, I'd probably recommend not to do it on a bike. There was only like three bikes in the car park. They do have a shuttle, which is very expensive, but it's probably worth it. How nice is this place? It's unreal, no words for it. We did actually have to wait for our table um, and we're quite lucky. We got one on the higher deck, there's people below us, and then we have, I think the perfect view, it's a little bit obstructed by this tree. Yeah, but... this tree just moved. <laughs> but the view is so, so good. The Chang's good, I have chicken satay on the way. I'm quite intrigued to see what Matt's prawns are gonna be like. How are the satays? They're going bad, they're so mm. bad. They're like barbecued and char grilled. And I don't know what it is, but a Thai peanut sauce is the best sauce you're ever going to get. Goon sarong. But not just any goon sarong. This is deep fried batter made of singa beer. This couldn't get any better, could it? I don't, know what, I don't even know what the sauce is that comes. You know what? I'm doing it without the sauce. Because it's doesn't really smell like it, I'll be honest, but um mm. Oh wow, they're good. They are so good. It um it doesn't taste like singer. I don't think it's gonna get me drunk, but there's so many herbs and spices in there. Maybe a hint of singer. I mean, we got there in the end, it might have taken two days, lots of stops, lots of rain, but we managed to see a little bit of Ko Samui and a lot, a lot of rocks. Some very, some very uniquely shaped rocks and Jungle Calf, Jungle Club, that was amazing. I would highly recommend the incredible views and incredible prawn tempura with Singa batter. If you could create a food for me, anything in Singa batter, it is absolutely perfect, but highly recommend renting a bike in Samui, it's the only way you're gonna see a little bit of the island. It is a pretty large island, so you could probably do with having a bike for a few days. I'm hoping we're gonna get a little bit of a sunset tonight. I'm not so sure, it's still a little windy, still a little bit cloudy, but we are checking in to somewhere amazing in the next couple of days. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one for that. <laughs>